Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another one. Yeah, I ain't make a video since fucking, what, Saturday? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, and then the game, the game was on fucking Sunday with Detroit and San Francisco. But at the end of the day, man, 49ers got the job done. I don't want to hear no more fucking Brock Purdy slander because the man literally carried the 49ers on his back in the second half of that game when we were down 24-7 at halftime. The largest comeback in NFC Championship game history after halftime because the 49ers did it in 2012, coming back from 17-0 against Atlanta. But this one was sweeter to me because... We didn't know if Brock Purdy could come back. You feel what I'm saying? That was the net. Well, I knew he could. I knew he could, but that was the narrative going into the playoffs. So not only has he done it once, he's done it twice. Now nobody can say shit about that kid, man. That kid is fucking special, bro. As far as his mental makeup and his fucking his moxie, you feel what I'm saying? Like you got people like you got all these analysts talking about he doesn't have this, he can't do this, he can't do that. But what he can do is win fucking games. What he can do is fucking bring a team from behind. What he can do is fucking not freeze up in the clutch. Because I saw so-called elite quarterbacks like Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. I like both of them. I'm a fan of both of them. But they both froze up in the fuck clutch. Both of them did. I don't want to hear that shit, man. They both froze up in the clutch when they, when they when when their teams needed them most. Josh Allen was just... We, he was just missing people. He missed Stefan Diggs across the middle. Like, he was just missing throws. Like, he was getting tight in the clutch. Lamar Jackson was basically tight the whole AFC Championship game. He played nervous. That's why he was missing easy throws and he was missing reads. But Brock Purdy was the total opposite. No, he does, no he's not better than both of them. I'm not ever going to accuse that because he's not nowhere near better than Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen talent-wise. But what he is, he's better. He's more... How should I say this? He's got more clutch gene than both of them, especially in the postseason when it really, truly matters. Not that regular season shit. But anyway, I love what I'm... Yo, man, I can't wait to the Super Bowl against the Chiefs because I'm going to break that game down later in the week. And while I think the 49ers are going to hoist the trophy, and I'm not just saying that as a fanboy, I'm saying it being real. I think the 49ers are going to win the game outright. But I'll get to that later in the week. But right now, this is about giving Brock Purdy his fucking flowers, man, because that kid fucking deserves it because he's been under nothing but media scrutiny for the last month and some change since the Baltimore game. Since he had a bad game against Baltimore, he's been under media scrutiny for no fucking reason. Like he's not he's like it's weird because it's like he's not allowed to have a bad game, yo. He's not allowed to have a bad game, and I don't understand that shit, bro. Like, all great quarterbacks have bad games. Shit, Patrick Mahomes had a fucking stretch during the season where he looked like he was lost, but they didn't blame him. They blamed his receivers, and honestly, that's the it, that's the truth. It was his receivers. It wasn't him, but that's what I'm saying. Like, he had statistically his worst season of his career, but he still found a way to get it done in the postseason where it matters. And I'm not comparing Brock Purdy to Patrick Mahomes, so don't get on hacking goofy. But he Brock did the same thing. You feel what I'm saying? He did something similar, and he brought his team back both times in both instances against a very hot Green Bay team that absolutely smoked Dallas in the wild card, and then against Detroit, against one of the most talented teams in the in the league with Detroit because. Whether people want to believe it or not, the Lions are that fucking good, and they're here to stay. I won't be shocked if the Niners see them again in the postseason next year. But at the end of the day, man, it's all about winning, and that's what Brock has fucking done. He's 21-5 and five as a starter. He's 4-1 and one in the postseason, and honestly, he should have been 5-0 and oh if he didn't get hurt against Philadelphia last year in the NFC Championship game. He would have been 5-0. and oh. So, come on, man. Like, the kid has performed in the playoffs. Like, stop trying to play with his fucking name, man. Like, real talk. Like, y'all dudes need to really watch football, man. Stop fucking playing these games, man. Get that kid his fucking respect. But like I said, man, like, I'm proud of Brock, man. That's real talk. That's coming from a real 49ers fan who was skeptical at first because I wasn't always the biggest Brock Purdy supporter. But he won me over 
soon week one, week one this year when we smoked Pittsburgh and he did what he did to that great Steelers defense, he won me over. And I'm always and and ever since then I was I had no more questions about him. And that was mostly because of his injury, because I was worried about his elbow. And that's another thing. He coming off reconstructive elbow surgery to his UCL. That's fucking that's a damage and injury to a quarterback. And he still fucking had a great fucking season. So but nobody wants to give him credit for that. He came back from a career altering injury and still fucking put up the numbers he did. Still made the Pro Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Was literally a couple of votes away from being a second team all pro quarterback. So come on, man. Like get his kid his respect. And he's in the Super Bowl. Fuck out of here, man. Put some respect on Brock Dane. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.